alternate rep, I guess, right? Yes. What role, if any, did you play kind of in the process of the PA looking at practice and then looking at the film later? I think they, the rep just comes to practice and kind of just gauges uh, the pace of everything. Uh, we have a young team. Everybody's excited to be back. So, you know, guys are going to go, you know, 100 miles an hour, even though, you know, sometimes you have to be a pro and kind of know how to practice in that in that regard. I think anytime you step on the football field, there's a certain level of intensity. So it's always kind of hard. Around this time of year, it's kind of hard to maintain and coach that. Uh, I, th- I thought so far, a few inc- incidences here and there, but uh, for the most part, pretty pretty clean. How do you weigh those two responsibilities? If you're talking about every time you step on the field, it's intense. And you're the guy in the middle of the practice, in the middle of the intensity, but you also have this role as a union rep who's – job is to look out for the best interest and safety of you and your teammates? I think for sure. Um, it's definitely um, one leading by example and not being overly aggressive, not trying to hurt a teammate. You know, we're Bears versus Bears right now up until September 11th for the most part. So we kind of have to, you know, take care of each other in that regard. So that that is something that we all have to learn as we go. We have a lot of new guys on the team. So uh, guys are, all, you know, it's kind of a filler type thing right now. Do you, do you look at it as the right thing was done by taking your practice away when you got beat up for physical nature? Uh, I think it was just, uh, you know, definitely a warning as far as like uh, um, the way we go about things without pads on. Uh, I think it was definitely a learning experience for a lot of guys on the team. And, you know, we're, you know, we're all working together for workplace environment, you know, all getting to know each other, the guy you line up against, you know, kind of communicating that, like, we don't have pads on. You know, there's certain things we're not going to do, you know, going forward. What were the conversations like with coaches about it? Was it like on the field they would tell the players, no, don't, don't do that, or did they have to address the whole team about it at some point? I think that's because has position groups. Uh, certain positions have a little more contact than others. I think for us on uh, front seven, we're constantly going up against each other within, you know, very tight quarters. So there's a lot more uh, – Things that we have to do, like as far as aggression, you know, pushing a guy into the ground, the old lineman or something, or an old lineman, somebody's behind him, and you know, you don't want to push him into somebody. It's just using more discretion as opposed to if you were playing a game or something, you know, you're just going full speed. So I think for us as D linemen, you know, it's it's nice when they tell us to slow down a little bit. It means we're doing our job, but at the same time, uh, respecting the practice rules. For sure. I definitely uh, am excited about the scheme. I, I get to do one job, and that's get off the ball, get in the track stance, and use my athleticism. Uh, I've been, been very versatile, versatile most of my career, standing up, dropping. I think it takes the, the thinking out of it for a guy with athletic, superior athleticism, so a guy that can get off the ball before everybody else, beat the o lineman out of stance, use my quickness, use my speed. So I definitely fit in very well. It makes my job easier from anything I've had to do in the NFL so far. So, so good. Have you played in four three before? I have. Uh, senior year of college. Uh, I've been asked to stand up and drop and do other things, but I definitely think this can definitely uh, enhance and really spotlight my abilities. Riding a bike if you haven't done it since, since Pretty game. much. I mean, getting in the tra- three-point stance and the track stance, is it's fun. It's just like running, you know, being a track athlete. Do you feel old being around? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't feel old. I'm 29. I turned 29 in January. Uh, I came into the league when I was 21, so I definitely feel see the wave that has come and gone. Uh, definitely still feel young. Definitely enjoy being around the young guys and just – you know, try to be a role model and be an example in, in any way I can. What's that like when you're with a team that, that is obviously going to give young players an opportunity yeah. um, to grow? Uh, do, you, do you see yourself in a position of being a mentor, of, uh, of, of being a competitor and a mentor? I think just being a good teammate, I don't like to, you know, put myself on. We, we all have the same job. We signed, all, everybody signed a contract to be here, so I'm not trying to be above anybody regardless of how young they are. But... I will say uh, the way you go about business, 
uh, the way you, <laughs> whether or not you choose to laugh at a joke or not, it, it, all that matters. Like maturity and, and, and the, making the creating a workplace environment where everybody that steps in the building knows that we're here for to win games. So I think that's that's pretty much what my role is at this point. There are a lot of unknowns about this defense. There's a lot of unknowns about this coaching staff. Um, what's the best thing? It's you know June. Well, what's the best thing you could say at this point as far as an indicator that yes, this will be. Better, I think the, the best thing will be the, the, the trust that the coaches are putting on the, the players, especially on, on defense. And I'm sure that's what they're doing on offense, too. So, you know, every, every guy's unique ability, uh, being able to go out there and go full speed with that unique ability so we can win games. I don't think there's much. I, mean, I, don't, I, I feel like the coaches want the players to kind of play and run, kind of run the defense and run the team how they want it to run. So I definitely, uh, guys want to take ownership of this defense. Guys want to be top five. And I think that's what we're going to be. With all due respect to last year, and I know it's early, but what would you say like maybe the biggest difference between then and now is? Uh, between, I'll say the, the youth on the team. I'll definitely say everybody's, uh, you know, bring your lunch pail to work type of energy and just, you know, everybody's humble. And as it should be, every year in the league is, you know, can be a humbling experience or it could be an exalting experience, depending on how you want to see it, right? So I think it's uh, the, the humility of the group. Uh, we're, we're, it feels like a team. It doesn't feel like a bunch of individuals. I think we're going to win uh, just because of that. What was your recovery process like getting back from your injury from last year? Definitely was, definitely was disappointing. I felt like I had a great off season and I was looking forward to, to a good year. And uh, the recovery went great. The training staff here did a good job of, you know, giving me stuff to do. And that kind of just came around pretty quick. So it was a pretty straightforward uh, fix and move on type thing. For so long. It was definitely tough. I just definitely had to keep my mind in it and stay in the building and be around everybody and just kind of try to encourage and motivate. The season didn't go the way a lot of people wanted it to go last year, so I couldn't just dwell on my misfortune. I kind of had to just be around and be around the coaches and support them that way. You mentioned the coaches are trusting you guys to kind of take autonomy and run things the way you want it to be run. Have you noticed anybody in particular that's really stepped up and grabbed the reins in that regard? I'd definitely say, I mean, Roquan has been that, you know, since he stepped foot in the building, but the, just the, the change of direction, the way he runs to the ball, I think for us, uh, that's the biggest part of our defense is just the energy, having guys coming in there. Uh, if some, somebody's tired of taking them out, putting a new group, and cr making plays. So I think the, the emphasis is running to the ball and creating plays, turnover. We might not be in the perfect play every time, but uh, just having a bunch of opportun opportunists on the defense, guys that are going to run, try to get a strip or interception or make a play, that type of thing. couple more. You know, just real quick, Jaquan, Jaquan Brisker, we saw him in the box a little bit today. What does he bring when he's in there with the front seven with you guys? I definitely think the athleticism, I think the uh, they're going for a smaller linebacking core. So obviously you guys are faster, uh, allowing them to make plays, allowing the front seven to be aggressive and disrupt things in the backfield and letting these guys, these faster, smaller guys, chase the ball carry. I think that's what the league is going to. And I think it's, I mean, safeties that can come in the box and do that is uh, it's a plus.